Kelly Brett to your mid-month reading for May. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, I do have a new deck. I actually get, got two new decks for Mother's Day. I have this deck, which we're using right now, and then we will be using... Oh, where'd the box go? We'll also be using this deck. So how fun is that, right? So... Let's get into this, my friends. Okay. And this is for Libra Sun, Rising Moon, and Venus. Okay. We're just having a lot of heavy, heavy Libra in your chart. A lot of people do find that as well. Okay, let's go, guys. We have this star card coming out as your energy. These cards are really big, so I pre-shuffled <laughs> and did them all. Um, because otherwise it I mean, they actually cut me, so they're so big. Um, so I'm doing them this way. Just seemed like it was Kind of hard, they're really big. So, having the star coming over here is telling me that you guys are trying to keep hope and faith alive within a situation. Right? Really wanting to keep hope and faith alive. I do feel this is a love reading. I just want you to know that. If you know you're not love, it could be a friendship but or a family member. But it definitely has something to do with people. It could even be at work for some of you. But however it is, it is saying that I am keeping hope and faith alive with the Knight of Discs. It's the same as the Knight of Pentacles or Coins. Right? This is saying, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to move towards you slowly and humbly. Look, guys. Having all these cards together, there's something going on with the Queen of, of Discs. To start, okay? You guys are having a problem with this person. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Okay, this person is kind of self-absorbed at this time, okay? I mean, really just getting in here. I mean, let's just get this done, right? It's like, seriously, because, I mean, I'm looking at these cards right now, and I'm telling you right now, this person is being obstinate. They're stuck in their own way. They might be a little greedy, unappreciative of what's going on, might want more. Something is going on, where, and very argumentative for some of you just really wanting their own way about the situation, and you are really trying to come back towards this person, but you're doing it very humbly. The humble is because of the two of the two of wands over here, which is showing this domination, how they want to dominate things, but you want everything under control, trying to keep the control in the relationship, and praying that, you know what, if I do this in harmony, then maybe they won't fight with me. Maybe I can keep them calm and cool, Maybe they'll want to actually, you know, talk without arguing, okay? Because they're very obstinate at this time, and they really don't, you know, they see it one way and one way only, which is their way, okay? And as the Knight of Discs, you're just trying your hardest over here to come towards this person slowly, carefully, and kind of watching your P's and Q's as you're going, okay? But there is a lot of interference going on with the Eight of Swords over here. The Eight of Swords, the interference within your mind. You know, it's kind of like, okay, so... If, even though I'm trying to keep the harmony and everything going, I do realize that I am trapped inside my mind. I'm not sure. I'm very worried about this situation, right? I'm very worried. I'm very worried that this is not going to work. The more I come at this person, the more they're still very standoffish. They're very obstinate. Or, you know, even though they're earth, they're standing their ground, but they're kind of looking the other way. That's where you're getting kind of the standoffish, right? Because they're arguing about the situation. They don't want to come to a harmonious place with you. They don't want to, um, what is the word, compromise. Okay, so even though, right, even though you have the star over here, you still feel like there's some neglect, neglecting the situation. Right? There's definitely disorder. Right? Stuck in my mind. Trapped in my mind. I think about this all the time. I mean, I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get Nine of Swords over here for the despair, the hopelessness. It's like I'm trying to keep all this, this hope, but there still feels like there's, you know, the interference of my mind because how am I going to do all of this when this is what you're doing? Okay? And then you have over here the truce, the Four of Swords. It's just kind of like peace after the war, 
You know what I mean? The piece to me, though, is more of that kind of the standoffish. I stood my ground. I did what I was going to do. And the truce is not really the compromise. A truce is not really a compromise. It just means that we kind of, you went this way and I went this way and we kind of went separate ways. You went into the kitchen and I went into the living room. You went into the bedroom. I went into the living room. I'm sleeping on the couch. You're sleeping in the bed. There's your truce. <laughs> right? Because it's kind of recovery, finding a little relief, a little bit of change after the struggle, after the argument. It's just kind of where the, it's just kind of, you know, slows down during the mid-month. Fighting, 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 and, you know, domination becomes truce. But you feel like you're trying to overcome the ruin, the ruin of the situation, trying to pull those swords out of your back with the Ten of, with the Ten of Swords. Feeling like they sorted you. You guys could have sorted each other. Um, but however it is, it just feels like we're going to try and pull these swords out as we're having a truce. It's kind of like time out is all it feels like, guys. That's really all a truce is. Everybody knows this. Truce means stop for a little while so we can pull these swords out, right? <clears throat> Been de definitely knowing that there was failure, but you know what? It's time to recover for a few minutes. So there will be a time, you know, within the mid-month where it's just kind of like, but you can feel the coldness. You can feel the separation. You can feel that the queen of pinnacles over here, the queen of dis is not going to, they're not going to stand down. They're just going to kind of, like I said, separate. Go take all of those wounds out. And it's kind of crazy because it almost feels like we're going to take out these, these swords so we can go do it again. Because nothing, a truce is not really a 100% ending to the situation that's just kind of like the stomp you know what it feels like the, the stomping away okay fine we're done for now we all know what a truce and war is it's a truce agreement right it means stop war for now we'll continue later i gotta go pull out these swords for a while <coughs> excuse me that was that was weird Sorry about that. That was really weird. Because it's like no more communication. So with the Knight of Discs over here, this is where you're just kind of gathering your strength to hold on to the star over here. So the Knight of, you know, as you're trying to hold the peace, hold the harmony within the situation, coming at them very slow. I'm not going to rush at them because, boy, you don't want to do that. So you're just building strength and keeping your courage alive. And the courage also comes from that, that hope and peace that, you know what, we could make peace. We could keep the peace. That we can find how to fix these solutions. Gathering your strength up, maybe even, you know, even when trying to talk to them, approach them. With the domination, it's trying to find what's justified within the situation. Trying to, you know, you figure that, you know what, if I try to keep the peace over here, with the two of wands of this deck, this deck is, you know, having that harmony of power and justice, which is crazy because the justice card came out. So it's the harmony of peace of justice, trying to keep that established, right? As you're establishing the what, the strength, wanting that influence. It's also a card of boldness, which is also crazy. So is the strength card. So it's also trying to keep that bold, that force together. Try to keep yourself together is really it is. And trying to balance your energy as well. Um, with the tolerance over here, it's like, yeah, I've got eight of swords over here. You're keeping me in my head, though. So it's going to be kind of hard with the seven of swords. Oh. Oh, schniz. Okay. So with the seven of swords. Wow. Yeah. Well, with the seven of swords, no wonder you're in the eight of swords. Only for the fact that you're finding that, you know what, this is you know, trying to strive for the success, but not really feeling like this person is trustworthy enough at this time to really approach. When is the time to approach? How am I going to approach this situation? I'm trying to keep the strength, but I'm in my head with worry that they're not going to listen to what I have, 
compromise, keep the love going, keep the relationship going, right? Because they're in that they're in this area right now where they're just saying, nope, I want to be moody, you know, I don't want to be affectionate, I don't want to be kind, I don't want to be caring, I just want to do what I want to do, and I'm not practical about any situation right now because it's kind of my way or the highway, like I said, very obstinate. And you're feeling a little timid by even going there because you know, right, that if you approach them, they're going to want to argue. And definitely, like I said before, they're, they're earth signs, so they're definitely going to want to stand that ground. If you know you're not dealing with an earth sign, it doesn't matter. They're taking on a lot of earth energy with the obstinate stubbornness, wanting to argue and standing that ground. So, right? That's what it looks like right side up. She's, <laughs> look at her. She's just like over here. She's like, I'm confident. I know what I'm doing, and I hold my pinnacle. Over here, she's saying, don't touch me. It's my pinnacle. Don't touch it. And there could be a little bit of greediness, um, and you might even feel like they're a little ungrateful um, toward you as well. Especially if, if it's your wife or your, we'll just say your spouse, you know, and you, you take care of them and help them and do things. You might feel like they're very ungrateful for your help, for your, you know what I'm saying? For everything that <laughs> just might just be everything. It's like, wow, you're just acting like, you know what, you just don't give a shit. And that's really, she doesn't. Not right now. Because she's stuck in her own way. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's even amazing that you're even going to get this truce. We hope you get that truce. Because it looks like you do get the truce. Because of the tennis, the tennis uh, swords. It's kind of like, okay, truce time out. Everybody go take out your swords and we'll be back at it later. Because I don't see her standing down anytime soon. She's stuck in this way for a little bit, at least. Oh my gosh, you guys. Coming at her as the Knight of Cups, you guys. Coming at her as the Knight of Cups, but not seeing any doorways opening. So I'm coming towards you loving. I'm going to show you I have my heart open to you. I want you to see how much love I have, and I'm trying to give you this love. I'm trying to tell you. I am your best friend. I am your lover. I, you know, am your best coworker. However it is, take it how it resonates. Everybody's story is different. You know where it is. But this cup, this cup is saying, this is where I'm showing you. My heart is open towards you. I do have this deep connection with you and I would like to remain this way. And showing your true emotions to this person and getting no response with the Seven of Cups upside down. Closed doors. Wow. Wow. Oh, no wonder you feel sorted. Oh, Seven of Cups upside down. That's all. All my, my doors are closed. Because you know if you have Seven of Cups, you have all these opportunities, all these potentials. The doors are opening for you. So you could just say the doors are closed, your heart is closed, and you're not opening your heart for me. And in fact, everything that's coming out of your mouth... It's probably seven, this, wow, seven of swords. Oh, good. Seven deadly swords. Not going to open those, that cup of love at all. Not going to take it. Not going to even look at it. Not going to open a door. Not going to take the opportunity to take your cup of love. I'm not looking at your cup of love. I'm looking the other way because I'm standing my ground and I'm telling you this is what it is. No wonder you're so timid. No wonder over here you're saying I'm timid to even wanting to do so, but I'm going to have to try to do it. I go and do it and you shut me down. Shut me down. Shit, you didn't even give me a chance. So trying to make a truce. So you try to offer the cup of love. Clarify on how this person, I, I don't even know. Four of Wands, trying to escape the situation. Whoa! See, and actually we could probably put that on the truce as well, because what did I say about the truce earlier? It's more like, oh yeah, that's fine. You know what? You go to the living room and sleep on the damn couch, and I'm going to go to my bedroom, and I'm going to go to sleep, and don't talk to me. So what is it? 
You're giving the cup of love. They don't want to show it. They don't want to do anything. So the truce is more just that as they escape the situation. They don't want to hear all you, that you have to say. They're just going to definitely just run away and go escape you. I don't want to hear about all your love. I don't want to hear anything. Probably, they may even be very silent about it, or like I said, they sorted you. I, you know, it doesn't really matter, guys, really, if they said anything. No matter what, it's going to give you ten of swords. If you just gave them all this love and tried to tell them all these wonderful things, and even if they, like, totally sh didn't say shit, that's going to give you ten of swords. Because it'd be like, ouch, and you didn't even say anything. So, I mean, they could have sorted you with their mouth. They could have sorted you just by ignoring you. This hurts. So, yeah, Queen of Wands, in reverse, you're not even feeling it anymore. Now you're hurt. But you're still trying to keep that star going this month. You're going to continue to try to keep the hope and the faith alive that this relationship will continue, even though they keep hurting you. Now, where you built all that strength to go to offer your cups, to try to get the situation justified, and balanced, they've knocked all the strength right out of you by doing what they did. Because the Queen of Wands is upside down. She's very courageous. She's just as strong as a strength card, right? Everything you built up, everything that you were wishing for, you know, and hoping that this would happen, has just come crumbling. I don't know if I like the moon there. Okay, I don't like those cards. The moon says that you, you probably have, you know, the secret desire, you know, to try to fix this. Keeping a secret within yourself, trying to manifest, trying to use your intuition to figure out how to fix the situation as you're over here trying to take these swords out. Trying to transform. It feels like you're trying to transform that pain, you know, back into strength again. But now you're having a really rough time. Maybe you found it a little bit easier before, but maybe it also took a long time. But this one really hurt a lot. And as you're pulling out these swords, you're realizing and having your intuition is open. And you're realizing that this, this could be the end. This could be the end, my friend. I have a crow, and I do have the death card with the five of cups. It's almost like you come to the conclusion, I'm going to pull these swords out of my heart. And... But... You have the Five of Cups, so you're emptying. And the Nine of Pentacles, you're, you're starting to believe that the grass cannot, is not going to be green. The grass is not green. It's, it's like it, it's not transforming the way you want it to transform. Having the Death card is like you're, you're coming to the conclusion as you're taking out these, that everything I was manifesting, everything I was trying to do is ending. And it even feels like you're even thinking in your mind with the Five of Cups that's walking away, feeling out in the cold. But you might just be letting go. Not only are you letting go of these swords, but you're transforming, having a better outlook on the situation and thinking this could be a dead situation. It's almost like, I don't know if I should stay or if I should go now. Should I try again? Because every time I try, this keeps happening. <clears throat> The love I had, for a lot of you, it's a love situation. But the love I had is upside down. It feels like unrequited love. Because why would a loved one do this to me? And if you know it's not a lover, you know it's a job, then maybe it's like, you know what, the more the boss talks to me like this and people talk to me like this or whoever or whatever this relationship is, that means that they don't care about me. They don't even have the care to want to listen to me. You literally, I tried to give you Knight of Cups. I tried to tell you something. You didn't even listen. You weren't even really listening. 
and then you walked away and escaped? To your Five of Pentacles. Feeling alone. Five of Pentacles, just kind of feeling alone, but kind of in your head, kind of getting, you know, that idea in your mind of what's, you know, true and what's really going on within the situation. Right? How is this going to work? How is this going to be? Worried? Causing anxiety? You know, if it's a job, guys, you know that, you know what? I'm going to have to walk away from this job because they don't want to give me a promotion. They don't want to listen to me. They don't want to do this and that. It could cause a little financial loss for a little bit of time. And you're looking and seeing these things. So it's kind of like, you know, really looking at the setbacks of the situation with the Five of Pentacles. That's really all it is. It's, it's looking at the inactivity of the relationship. I would like to actually clarify on this person. I would like to know what in the hell is wrong with this person. Maybe you guys already know, but for some of you, you might be like, you know, what is making them do this? What is seems to be the damn problem? What seems to be the problem with this person? Clarify spirit on why this person's acting this way. You know, for the majority there are of the subs subscribers, please. Two of swords for your person. Two of cups for your person. What? Queen of Swords, yeah, definitely. Star card, Ace of Swords, Five of Swords. That's very weird thinking. Queen of Cups, upside down. Was your person caught in, in a fidelity issue? Infidelity issue. <clears throat> Was your person caught in some kind of infidelity issue? Or maybe it was yourself and you guys were trying, you know, take it how it resonates, but somebody, it, it does feel like there's something going on with infidelity for some of you. And it never panned out. It never fixed itself. Um, doesn't have to be. It could also just be the ungratefulness because the Queen of Cups upside down is ungrateful or, you know, ungrateful within the relationship. It could be infidelity, um, caring only about themselves, super unemotionally attached as well. So there could be, if you take it how whichever one it is, and then if you guys already know, then you just use your own, right? Um, the Two of Swords, they can't make up their mind or the decision. They're caught at crossroads of the Two of Cups, whether or not they really want to take this cup of love, whether they really want to continue with you. Um, with the two of swords or the queen of swords upside down. So they don't know what the hell they really want. So they're just ignoring you and they figure if they ignore you, then the star card goes upside down. Huh? With the ace of swords, they just kind of want what they want. Better opportunities with the five of swords in reverse. I, I'm getting kind of codependency over here. Codependency, but not grateful within a relationship. I don't, that's. Hold on. That's really weird. Okay, so if they're codependent, for some of you, you know they're codependent and they just are fucking using you for money and good house housing. That could be it. Or maybe you guys have children together and so they feel like they have to stay within the relationship for the children. For the children's sake, but they don't want intimacy with you. I'm sorry, that's what I'm getting. It's, it's crazy, but that's, that's what I'm really getting over here. 
Five of Swords, there's no satisfaction. There's no real talk. There's no coming together. They have their own, they feel like the relationship is in a failed, this is a failed relationship. There could have been some dishonor, that's the, maybe infidelity. Maybe they knew, maybe they, you know, knew that there was failure, but they don't want to fix it though either, but then for a lot of them, they don't want to leave either. Huh? They don't want to leave, they'd rather ignore you than give you the love that you need. Because they're comfortable. Well, you know, it's okay, Libra. Because, you know, in seriousness, you know, I'm not going to let your hopes and dreams come true with the star card. You know, I'm comfortable where I am. And you know what? We don't need to talk. You know, we'll just take care of the kids and that's it. Or I'm just, we've been together so long, I'm just comfortable, but we don't need to really have any intimacy because it's pretty much a failed relationship and there's failure to communicate. But I'm fine with it. Just leave me alone. Let me go back to my room. That's for some of you. So they're holding on to you for all the wrong reasons. Let's just put it that way. And if they know they failed somewhere and that they, you were trying to fix this, it's almost like they don't want to come to terms with what they did wrong, so they would rather ignore it than speak of it. So if you don't really speak of it, you don't really get to fix it. And they just keep their harmony and their peace over here with the Two of Cups. Like, I'm just happy and harmonious. I'm fine. Leave me alone. Wow. That's for some of you. And, you know, whatever the situation is, right? How is this spirit? What should Libra do? I mean, look, you, they already look like most of them are going to throw the towel in. Because it's just to the point that they just realize the grass is not going to get green again. It's in them, there's no harvest. What should they do? Clarify it on the best answer for Libra, please. Whoa, things are running on the floor. Oh, those are probably your cards. Wow. Meditation brings answers. You will know what to do as you meditate. And wow. Okay. And it says, choose a new direction for abundance. Wow. Okay. Okay. So once you meditate on the answer, it will give you a new direction to think about, which will bring the abundance back, whether it's through the relationship and fixing the relationship or you moving on. It's going to be different for everyone. Okay, because I mean, it might literally, you might just come up with the thing and say, you know what, maybe we just need counseling. You see what I'm saying? If we just get family counseling or something, if it's a family situation, you just get counseling on the situation, maybe we can fix this situation. So everybody's story is going to be a little bit different depending on who you're dealing with, right? Um, if it's, you know, family member, maybe you need some family intervention. You know what I'm saying? If you're dealing with something like that, or somebody doesn't want to listen, family members are not listening to you. See, so it's, like I said, the whole situation is different. Otherwise, you're going to have to choose a new direction. If it's the job, you know, you know you get, you're worth more than that. Don't let people at the workplace, you know, treat you like that, um, right? If it's just a girlfriend or a boyfriend and you're not married, then you know, you probably it's time to end that and go find something else, right? Unless you really feel like, you know, we could really bring this back together, then maybe, once again, you could have a friend intervene or get some counseling or something. Okay, and that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.